what's going on youtube midnight crawler is back up in this piece with another episode of a demented corner starting things off with a package from a fiend on film he attended days of the dead atlanta this year crystal pixie adams was in attendance along with sean donahue of gator blade films and chris woods of the sleaze box and he scored me an awesome autograph print from KPA. Y'all know I have a big crush on her, big fan of hers. And yes, she personalized it just for me. My favorite fan, KPA. Hugs and kisses. Oh yeah, so badass, you know what I mean? Now I love this man, just a big fan of hers. And when she was down in Tampa Bay, Screams last year, she didn't have any uh, prints available. So this time she came prepared and man, thanks Fiend for hooking me up. Not only that, but also a small mini print right here. Love that right there, man. It's fucking awesome. And something I can keep in my wallet, if you know what I mean. Sweet little Pixie Von Bat business card. Wallet sized, if you know what I'm saying. But yeah, man. Awesome, awesome package right there. Thank you, Fiend. Love it. KPA, Crystal Pixie Adams. Like I said, and bruising views at the end. I will be working on a fan page for her on Facebook. So be on the lookout for that. Should be ready at the beginning of March, which we're already at, but sometime soon. And right here on the backdrop, Gornor Magazine. I got to attend a live taping of an Austin Access TV show. Now, I grew up watching Access television when I was young, you know, late night. So I could watch some boobs here and there. And yeah, this was a great experience. I was in the I was in the you know in the audience and my friend from um he's a creator and owner of Gornor magazine. He was a host and it was awesome, man. Got to see all the shenanigans. Uh the name of the show is Zombie Life TV. They're on air every Thursday at 10 p.m. Central. And it was an awesome show. And I, of course he hooked me up with some free stickers and a free t-shirt so I could represent for him. So yeah, you know what? Before we get on with the pickups, let's uh, let's do something different. Let's let's get out of here. Let's get out of the dungeon and let's go out and about and maybe hit up an iconic place or two. All right. So I'll be right back. Thank you. 
right, guys, we are back from an awesome out and about. Got to hit up the gas station from the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre. That was a lot of fun. And also got to pass by the bridge from part two, which was fantastic. So stoked to be back and share with you my pickups. I only spent, well, it was under $20. And this is all the shit that I picked up. Because I didn't want to come home empty handed. So let's start things off with Pawn Shop number one, Shogun Assassin. I was like, wow, I couldn't believe they had this. Had never seen this cut before of the Lone Wolf and Cub series. So very stoked. And I did watch it. Fantastic. So much fun. Aliens 3. Didn't have this either. So scooped it up i would definitely would like to watch the assembly cut now very curious porkies man been wanting to see this one forever it was an interesting um uh, cover art though on this one well, yeah i was hoping it'd be like the original but hey man just happy to have it in the collection and yeah it seems to be some kind of addition one size fits all so there you go and last but not least for that one pawn shop, don't judge me, Empire State. I'm a rock fan. That's all I'm going to say. But yeah, that was awesome. Got all these for two bucks each. That was great. I was hoping to find one for a dollar in the dollar bins, but they didn't have a great selection in there. All right, so now let's jump on to the Goodwill. And these were all 50 cents. Snake Eyes. Didn't have this in the collection, but it's a De Palma film. So yeah, man, it's Nicolas Cage. I had to. Silence of the Lambs. Didn't own it on any media. Might as well. The Jerk. Steve Martin. I love some comedies. Chelsea Walls. This one was interesting. It's directed by, um, I believe, Ethan Hawke. And uh, y'all know him from Explorers and Gattaca. But yeah, this one had a good cast in it. Rosaria Dawson. Uh, Vincent D'Onfrio. Chris Christopherson. Yeah, man. Uma Thurman's in it. I think it was her, his wife back then. But yeah, very curious about this one. Chelsea Walls. And uh, had to go old school on this one. Footloose. Yep. <laughs> now this one, Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark. I did pull the trigger a little too fast because I always check to see if there's mold and to make sure that the right VHS is in the case. But uh, yeah, as you can see, I, I, I said... Oh, it's Indiana Jones, and then, you know, I picked it up. But, yeah, if I would have looked closer, it's The Last Crusade. So, man. Oh, well, it's all good because, like I said, it's only 50 cents. I'll pick up Raiders of the Lost Ark sometime at some point. This was probably the best find there, honestly. Uh, it's my neighbor, Totoro. It's, um, I don't want to get his name wrong, Miyazaki. Yeah, y'all know him from uh, the uh, studio Ghibli. If you're a fan of animation, Japanese animation. But yeah, this was pretty cool, man, to find this. And it's in great condition. And very stoked to uh, to score that for 50 cents. And I had never seen it. So awesome, man. So that was my Goodwill scores. After that, I hit up another pawn shop. And this one was kind of weird because they had all their most of their DVDs in bundles of 25 selling for $17. So it really... You know, the, the browsing selection sucked, but I did pick up two things. Picked up Star Trek, The Wrath of Khan. This is the director's edition. It's pretty cool. Fat box, two-disker. Just watched it last night. Still holds up. Awesome flick. And one of my favorites growing up, I used to watch this on Showtime all the time, but I'm a cheerleader with the beautiful Natasha Leon. Big fan of hers. I dug her role in, in uh, Yoga Hosers. It was good to see her again, and I can't wait to watch Anti-Birth. I keep putting it off. It's on Netflix, I know. But yeah, I love this film, and I can't wait to rewatch that. All right, so after that, I hit up a thrift land, and it was my first time ever going, and I'm so glad I went because I found Fright Night. VHS, awesome, awesome. It's the only horror they had, so the rest of the stack's going to be other genres. But, man, awesome shit, man. Pretty good condition. I also picked up Mystery Science Theater 3000 Shorts Volume 2. This was great because uh, my friend, she's a, she's a big, big fan of them. And it came with, like, a postcard as well. So, yeah, I'm going to give this to her, and she'll be stoked. 
as just paper. Right here's a postcard. It comes with Crow, so it's like a complete, complete VHS set. And yeah, that's going out to you, Lydia, if you're watching. She's from Awesome Horror Society. She's like my sister. Uh, next up is Heaven and Earth. Now this one was interesting because it's a Japanese film. But I looked it up on uh, Amazon. You know, just you know, I always go to Amazon before eBay. But yeah, it's going for quite a bit, man like 20 bucks and then after that it's like in the hundreds i'm like holy shit so it's pretty cool to get this man good condition as well still sealed and all had to pull the trigger on this one guns and roses welcome to the videos grew up watching guns and roses man big fan of their stuff uh this one's before night falls best film of 2000 never heard of it but i recently saw um no country for old men so this has the uh What's his name? Javier Bardem. And I really dug his his acting. So kind of curious on this one. My homeboy Rich from Horror Show 300, 3,300. <laughs> Oops, sorry, Rich. Uh, the Graduate, he recommended this one. And I picked it up. It is on Netflix. So I'll probably watch it on Netflix. But I couldn't pass up this you know, VHS for 50 cents. And last for the thrift store finds is Batman, Mask of Phantasm. Now, this is a great condition. It also has a comic book in there. I'm not going to pull it out. It's in the back. And it's really cool because, you know, I remember this this style, this animation style, which was my favorite Batman uh, animation series of all time. And last, guys, I did hit up one more thrift store. Uh is a weird find for 50 cents but i had to get it just because it was so i was so curious about it it was still sealed i opened it up because i want to play with it it's uh star trek the next generation now i believe it's a uh, it's it's a uh, you know hong kong or chinese um release that you see the lettering my fiend my fiend on film told me it's korea but it doesn't look korean to me but who knows I don't want to get in a shouting match with him. He'll win. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But yeah, this was an interesting box set. Season three. And uh, yeah, it was sealed. It's a little ding up. It has a ding on there. But I didn't care. I just wanted to check it out. You know, I always like to check out odd, cool things. And yeah, it has, it has a box set. But check out the, uh, <laughs> the packaging, man. Oh, look at that attention to detail yeah they just threw all the discs together and there you go guys what do you expect from china no, i'm just kidding that's not i'm not being racist i love china i love my hong kong movies but yeah that's uh the next generation set and last but not least guys i did forget about this cool sticker from gornor magazine check them out on facebook check out their magazine highly recommend it check out zombie life tv it's a horror themed show here on Austin Access TV. All it covers all of Texas as well. That's my finds, guys. Under $20. Hope you guys had a blast, enjoyed the video, and I'll catch y'all next time. Peace.